Each of these projects represents an investment in the future. So each yes vote for East Boss project, which is designed primarily to serve children, each yes vote says, I believe in children. I believe they deserve the best. Most importantly, we're saying through those dollars that we believe in their potential. Woodville Tompkins is a uh, state-of-the-art facility. We're very excited about the new partnerships that we have and the new things that are going on on campus to include our gymnasium as well as our auditorium. And the new gymnasium is going to provide our athletes with a world-class facility to display their talents and skills and our auditorium is going to be second to none. The money for the, uh, the Groves K-12 project came entirely from the uh, Penny sales tax collection, also known as East Boss. The project is not only replacing the high school instructional units, but it's also replacing uh, Mercer Middle School. Those children will be going to the new school, as well as uh, bringing uh, elementary uh, students in there from the current Gould Elementary. So it's, uh, it's a combination of all those age groups, and it's gonna be an extremely attractive, monumental building for that area. The Jenkins High School project offers not only a great view of what the future will look like for schooling, it also offers our students an opportunity to be in a world-class facility. It uplifts that community and of course, it involves jobs that are local. Our pennies are kept local and that's what we'd like to see happen with each project. We talk in education about collaboration and collaborating among teachers. And from the very beginning of this project, collaboration was key. There was collaboration among the students, the faculty, the community, the business partners, um, the team that designed the school. So the collaboration that's been a part of this has, has been phenomenal. The White Bluff building is absolutely phenomenal. It lifts the community. It is a beautiful structure, so it adds beauty to an already beautiful community. From the minute you drive up from White Bluff Road, as you pull up to the school, the building is stunning. It sits on its site so beautifully. Some classical architectural elements are used in the design, but they're modernized for 21st century. That type of a building design is going to stay current. It's a classic design. It's perfect for Savannah and it's a great addition to that neighborhood. The Island Stadium is the first facility of its type for the district. And, and working on this project was kind of setting the standard uh, for future stadiums to be built at other schools in the district. The stadium is an excellent use of those East Bloss pennies. We had a, a great architectural team, engineering team that designed it, and we squeezed every last penny out of the design. The, the community certainly will get the, the most bang for their buck with this facility. These investments really offer our students a world-class experience. The community is telling our students that we support you, we want you to do well, we want you to stay in this community and we're providing you with state-of-the-art buildings to garner a quality education. I am extremely proud to live in a community that loves and invests in its children. And I'm also very proud that these projects allow for community use as well. That our school buildings belong to the community. All of our students can walk in a building like this, feel not only the love from the people inside, but feel the love of the community that says, we believe in you and we want the best for you.